Well, today I've got a real fun craft activity for you to try, perhaps with your kids or perhaps with yourself. And it takes me back to my early childhood. On the BBC in the early 1960s, there used to be a TV program called The Flowerpot Man, which I don't want to get into, but it was basically two men who lived in flowerpots who were actually made out of flowerpots. And the other week I was upstairs and I came across this old pot and I forgot we used to sell flowerpot people. Not one in there, so I thought let's have a go and see if we can make some. And they turn out to be quite easy to create. And this is my Mark I or Prototype I flowerpot man. Nice hat, my nice straw hat, face, googly eyes, legs, arms, and a happy, well, if you're a bit more skillful, you can make a nice nose and mouth on that. So how do we go about making a flower pot man or flower pot woman as we will in a minute? So what you need are some smaller pots. And um, here at the garden center, we are inundated with clay pots, all different shapes and sizes. Two little pots. One is gonna be the head and one is gonna be the torso from which the arms and legs come out. So you do need to drill. This one is designed to go through porcelain tiles and it will cut the glass so it's actually quite sharp. And terracotta isn't particularly difficult to drill through, just don't push too hard, take your time. The arms come out the sides and I'm gonna have the legs towards the front. So I'm gonna drill four holes, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put some glasses on, just be careful, you never know with ceramics, better safe than sorry. You don't have to push hard, because this, especially these uh, pots are very thin in places. A little bit of pressure, and you can see the powder coming off. Like so, there we go. And right on the opposite side. There we go, that's the arms. And now in the front, I'm gonna have two places for my legs. Slightly more forward. One. This has got a real sharp point, so it stays in place, which just makes it really nice. And like so. Now I'm gonna work out maybe some legs. I'm gonna put four of these, these are fantastic. You can't really grow much in something that size. All right, now I've decided how it's gonna look. All right, now how do we tie these together? Well, here we have a little dilemma because these pots are so small, typically you would use a macrame kind of art and craft cord, I suppose is what you call it. For these smaller little pot men, we're gonna to have to use something else. And I've decided to use some copper wire, galvanized wire. I'm just gonna pull out a, a piece. And right here on my pruners, there is a little notch on the end where I can cut wires. How convenient. So we're gonna thread this one through. It's done easily, one. What I'm gonna do to stop it pulling through is you don't have to do much with wire. I'm just gonna make a little squiggly mess. Make it wide and broad and that will stop the wire from being pulled through. So I'll pull it through as much as I can and that stop. Like so. So let's go through the pot at the top. All right, and then the same thing on the other side. And that will get our arms out the way. One, two. Now this is a little tricky because we have to make the wire stop inside. Those are the hands, they look pretty good. And we do exactly the same, except we're coming through these two narrow holes at the front. So another piece of wire. And now we come through the hole. This one we can't just go straight through. I'm gonna to have to loop it back around. All right, so here we go. We're gonna attach the head. A little bit of brain surgery, neurosurgery. This is very careful to just put a small amount on. You don't need a huge amount. And all I've got to do is carefully center it and just hold it. And that's pretty good. There's not much glue showing and it's making a pretty tight connection. And while we're there and got the glue gun going, how about some googly eyes? Maybe an eye there. Oh, that's a bit too much. And 
put the eye in like so make him look a bit cross-eyed like so to top it off how about one of these wonderful straw hats there's a southwestern cowboy pop man and using the same kind of hat you can make a australian how about that flower pot man but we're just going to put a regular garden northeast pennsylvania flower pot man i'm going to put a little bit of glue along the top here so there we go one flower pot man just got to be careful on the edge sometimes the legs if they're too heavy it will pull them over and that may be the end of them because you'll break into a thousand pieces let's talk about making a flower pot woman because that's easy enough and we'll have a whole set of flower pot people so the only difference i'm going to have with the uh, female flower pot woman is i'm going to do the knots here and we can just trim the excess off one too long one leg shorter than the other let's see if we can balance it out so when we hang our flower pot girl over there or flower pot lady the legs will hang down like this So there you go, it's a fun little activity. As I say, once you get online, you'll find all kinds of design ideas. Some of them use lots of pots, some use hardly any. Uh, some use a lot of paint, and you can use the accessories. Most craft shops have got loads of things for you to play with, and uh, it's kind of a fun thing. Some of them you can leave outside, some you can bring inside. Terracotta, though, as a whole, can't be left outside in the winter, so move them indoors. There you go, have fun. Mm -hmm.